I survived 100 days in a mod. Today's video is made up of four main segments. For the first 15 days, my best friend Sodi and I will be intensely tracked and hunted by 100 players. And if we die before the 15 days are up, well, then we, we get a pie thrown out of face. So hopefully that doesn't happen. After that, a peace ban will then be in place and everyone will have a new objective to create and build up an entire city together in order to establish an economy, you know, so, so we actually have resources and, and can afford to have a war. Once that is done, we then will each split off into two separate teams. Sodi and Hacky being the leaders of one team and myself being the leader of the other. We then will have it till the peace ban is lifted to build up our bases and strengthen our armies and then it's all out. Hey, before the video starts, let's make a bet. If you laugh just once, before the video ends, you have to subscribe, all right? All right, bet. Well, now it is time for the adventure to start. Day one, we released the IP and the hunters began spawning. Run! Oh, just keep running, so you don't look back. We knew we needed as much of a head start as we could get, especially since this is modded Minecraft, and I added way too many mods I probably shouldn't have, but uh, speaking of modded Minecraft, Sodi and I spotted this military base across the river, and so we decided to check it out, but we had to hurry. All right, I think we're in the clear so far. Oh, so many people are joining. Oh, someone was crushed by a falling tree. Oh, oh I just got a bear it. 50 cal in the parachute. I got gas. Sodi and I finished looting the abandoned military base, and then I spotted a couple hunters nearby, and so I figured, yo, it's time we probably should book it. I used the fuel I found in the chest to fill up the helicopter, and just as it began to rain, we became airborne. And we were safe, at least for now. This was actually a, a decent start, and we were definitely gonna need it since, you know, we had to stay alive from all these players for the next 15 days, and I, I really don't want to get a pie thrown at my face. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but uh, anyways, after messing with some of the hunters in spawn, we decided we shouldn't waste any more time, and so we went to go look for a safe place to land so, you know, we could get started on a base, and then all of a sudden our helicopter runs out of gas, and, and we had no choice but to jump. Oh, Tony! We're going down! We're going down! Jump, jump, jump! I was spinning out of control, but I, I pulled my parachute and managed to stabilize just... Uh, is that the northern lights? I must have just been dizzy or something. Anyways, as the rain poured and the thunder struck, I slowly but surely made my way to the ground and... Yeah, the, the helicopter to was to toast. Down. A goner. So, you know what we did? We entered the forest to chop some trees and then I noticed this Sir. big brown furry beast stalking us in the dark. Oh! Oh, there's a bear right there. Watch out, Sodi. All right, watch out. There's literally a bear to your right. Let's dig a hole. Yeah, note to self, the, the forest is not safe. It really wasn't, okay? The next day, even this goose attacks us. <gasps> oh, it might kill me. Oh. All right, let's go. Let's skedaddle. All right, yeah, I'm almost dead now. Oh, no, wolves, bro. <gasps> oh! Sodi and I managed to take out this deer, and, and then we did the smart thing. We dug a hole. We crafted a furnace and got smelting, and we even got some iron, which is good because we're going to need a lot of that for, you know, uh, tools, guns, and, and ammo and whatnot. And like I said, I added so many mods. There was this one mod I added that adds like a thousand different gems and tools to craft. And so on day three, I ended up finding some citrine, which is actually pretty useful because we can use it to craft some tools. And so I crafted crafted an axe and a pickaxe and then we continued mining. We were being hunted and the best place was to be underground or at least I thought. Anyways, while Sodi and I were mining it, it looked like the hunters were getting stronger. Some of them already had some iron armor, most likely loot they had gotten from the city. And yeah, I installed this mod called Lost City, which adds a bunch of abandoned cities around the world. It's it's pretty cool. They have some good loot inside, but the thing is the mobs are buffed and really OP. There's a lot of mobs here. And so, you know, if you're going to enter the city, you got to be really careful. I was taking a look at some of the hunters and it looks like this dude fell off a bridge. That is unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, so the people hunting us are actually viewers. The, the server was open to anyone. Anyone could join. It was pretty funny. Our next mission was to collect as much resources as possible so we could craft all the modded weapons to defend ourselves, you know? And so uh, we spent the next couple of days collecting everything. You know, there were so many different ores. It was insane. And then just as I was making my way out of the cave, this hunter was right next to me waiting to attack me. And I didn't even notice. Hey. Wait, Sody, that's not you. Someone's here. 
I'm out of bullets. Wait, what? Someone's here. Someone's here. I'm right behind you. Oh, wait, He's what? digging out. He's digging out. Now, I have no idea what we were thinking, but Sodi and I began hunting this hunter. Okay, I, it doesn't make sense. I know, but I suppose if he was alone, it would be best to, you know, take him out before he goes and gives our location away. So we chased him down for quite some time until, uh, I guess, Mother Nature had other plans. It's wild boars. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. He's chasing you. It's fast. It's fast. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hear him. Oh, no. He no, I'm me. in the six. I'm in the oh, quick no. six. Yes! Oh, gosh, thank you. I'm so glad the boards didn't need me. But we survived and ended up digging this safe haven under this bridge we found. And we found this old dungeon, dungeon. And so we just decided to, you know, we're not going to go below because there's way too many spiders. So we just stayed up top and we began setting up. I immediately crafted a portable radar so that I would know if any hunters were trying to sneak up on us. Then we made keypads so that we could pass code protect our chest. That way, just in case we had to leave and the hunters did find our base, they couldn't steal anything. You know what's crazy is we're playing with like, people across the world. It's kind of cool. And then all of a sudden, the portable radar starts going off, and apparently this hunter Eden LP was near us. Give me gunpowder, I can make some of my sniper bullets. All right, I got ammo. I got ammo, baby. Come at me, Eden. It turns out it was the same guy from before, but we weren't sure how he was finding us, but we just held ship, and so he couldn't see our names, and we waited and waited, and eventually the radar stopped, and it appeared he had left. We were finally safe, but uh, of course, that didn't last long. The radar started going off again. Eden was back, and so we decided to go on the offense once again and try to confront him. But he ran away again, and then someone types in chat that they're coming for us in an Apache helicopter. Okay, now I was freaking out. An Apache helicopter? Are you kidding me? Dude, no, Sony. Oh, no. How do you make that one airplane? Oh, it's like all those boats, remember? Oh, it's just wood. It's just wood. We can craft this, I think. Now that our location was oh, exposed, we needed me. to try and craft a biplane so that we could pack it up and get the heck out of there before the rest of the hunters showed up. But we needed more materials, and so we set out to go get everything we needed, and then we ended up finding ourselves in this old road tunnel, and then a hunter pulls up on us. Someone's going. Wait, where? I killed him? I killed him. Shoot, nice. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, that was a close one. We definitely needed to be way more careful. We did, though, make it back safely to our old base, and then we realized that the last part we needed to craft for the biplane was the engine. This meant we needed a lot more iron, so we began digging, and literally not even a minute later, our portable radar starts going off again. This time by a different person, Strats. I'm ready. You think they're gonna infiltrate in here, or they don't? They don't know we're in here, right? We need flint. I say we keep shift and dig down. Now I was starting to get a bit confused how everyone was able to find us so easily. And this is when we realized after players were dying, they would spectate us, and then they were secretly giving our cords out. Yeah, messed up, right? And this is when things took a turn for the worse. Uh, you broke. Oh. Oh, he one shot me, bro. No freaking way. My adrenaline spiked. I was alone in a very small cave with literally nowhere to run, and I was low on HP. It's invisible. What? Five shots to the face, and he still somehow didn't die. I knew I shouldn't have added all those armor mods, but you know what? It is what it is. There were so many things going wrong, and just as I was typing to do with some server stuff, it was all over. That was probably one of the most unfair manhunts of all time, and it was really my fault. You know, it's my first time, right? But hey, at least I learned a lot. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, Josh. Weren't you supposed to get a pie thrown at your face uh, if you if you die before day 15? Yes. Okay. Yes. Fine. <laughs> Roll the clip. Whoa! What's that? So what? <laughs> Tastes pretty good. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Sodi, just whatever you do, don't. Oh my God! I be free, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Dude, that splat behind you, bro. Oh my gosh. Well, that didn't go as planned, but that's okay because now it's it's time for the fun part. The peace band is now in place, and everyone on the server now has a new collective goal. It was time to begin building up a huge city, and I plan to be the mayor. Of it. All right, everyone, choose choose a task. We need miners. We need builders. We gotta build a city. All right, we gotta build an airport. We need weapons. We need tanks. We need jets. We need helicopters. We need it all. 
You guys ready for this? Let's go. I started collecting some wood and began building the outlines of my house. And then, uh, yeah, I noticed something just just a bit strange. What are these people doing just standing there? <laughs> just oh, watching me. Uh, guys. Everyone was just standing there looking at me. It was really weird. And then all of a sudden, this guy attacked me, violating the peace ban. So, you know what? I had to set an example. That's that. I can totally be a dictator. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's just uh, an example for what happens, just so you guys know. This was actually really interesting. We had voice chat installed on the server, and although it wasn't the best quality, it made for some really funny interactions. <laughs> Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Hey. I met this one guy named Scuff Zulu, and, well, uh, I asked him to go light this other guy's house on fire. Why you, why you ask? I, listen, I have no idea, but, uh, he did it, and it was pretty funny. Listen, I know, I know you might be thinking, bro, that's messed up. We just committed arson on this dude's house for no apparent reason. I know. Well, listen, technically, we didn't do anything, okay? Scuff Zulu, on the other hand, he, he definitely committed good. arson. And if anything, I actually helped out. Hey, your house good. is on fire. Your house is on fire. Don't worry, I'll help you. <laughs> your house, no. I even gave him some wood. So, yeah, just, just think about that for a second. There you go, that should help. Since Scuff Zulu proved himself worthy, I decided to give him the very first role of the video entitled him Police Chief. You're the new military chief, right? Is that okay? Jump up and down. Okay, that comes with the secret, though. You're also my new assassin. Did you hear that? Jump up and down if you heard that. Okay? All right, I'll let you know when I need some more work done. For now, though, just work on building the military base. We need we need gun control. We need a bunch of weapons. Hopefully, I chose the right guy. I mean, he did willingly commit arson on an innocent man's house for, for no reason. So, <laughs> well, we'll see. All right, good luck. After I set this goat on fire and chatted with some of the citizens, I noticed this interesting wood shrine of some sort. What's this? This cult worship Josh and communism <laughs> leave offerings to our Lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> P.S. This is a cult. <laughs> we got beads in here. <laughs> this worries me. This really worries me. <laughs> Disclaimer: Do not take that seriously, okay? But I just thought that was so funny, and and then I cut Hyper Gamer six two three trying to open my chest. Hey, we caught you red-handed trying to steal my furnace. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Someone said, Josh, I picked up a dead corpse. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here, but uh, I don't know. After having some fun messing files. around the next day, I set up a little, you know, just to get things started. And then later that night, we had a town meeting just to talk about some stuff and uh, who was going to do what. And this is the first time when things felt like they were actually starting to come together. I saw people already working on some shops and stuff, and uh, it was sick. We had a lot of work to do though, and I needed food, so I went and hunted some wild geese, and then I headed back to the abandoned city to collect some resources so I could finish building the, the very humble house of my own. I pretty much finished building my house, and then I heard this airplane outside, and just as I went to go check it out, I heard this boom. Airplanes and booms, that can't be too good. Uh, what just happened? Yeah, it looks like they crashed, but it seems like they're okay, so so that's good. Just remind me not to make them fighter pilots later on when, when we have a war. <laughs> I went to collect sand to finish the windows on my house and witnessed three sharks gang up to take out a whale. And then I met up with Strats, and yeah, remember this guy? He's the one that killed us. Well, apparently they had found this huge iron ore deposit, and so I went to go check it out. Whoa, there's so much iron. Jeez. Have you ever seen that much iron? You, you haven't. It's actually from this mod I installed called Large Ore oh, Deposits, yeah, which makes it so ores have the chance to spawn in big ore deposits uh, around the world, which is definitely nice considering how much resources and iron we're going to need to make all the tanks and jets and, and guns and whatnot. I continued to go mining for a while, and then by the time I got back, I, I noticed two things. One, some random poor soul was crushed by a tree. You hate to see it. And two, this city was growing fast, and it was awesome. I made some more sniper ammo and then I did some target practice and then dived into the ocean because I, well, I found out that this is actually one of the best ways to get food. And there was just a bunch of dead fish just sitting at the bottom of the ocean. And that's when this giant worm leeches onto me. Oh, I'm in a worm! Help! Help! He got me! Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, that thing was so no. slimy. I'm not joking. I'm probably gonna have nightmares now. And then I was just chopping trees, minding my own business, when this kid decides to take my wood. And so I took his life. Well, I don't take my wood. F 
fool. You can't just take another man's wood like that. Oh, what? He has three stacks of iron? Yeah, this guy had three stacks of iron in his inventory, which does not add up considering he only had an iron pickaxe. And it's funny because later on, we end up finding out that someone was missing their iron and it was Strats. This guy stole Strats iron. I guess he got karma when I killed him. Clearly, this dude was a thief. So it was good I killed him. And then I see this guy zoom past me on a reindeer, bro. Like, like what? I, I did not expect to see that. And so I went to go check it out and then I got this great idea. Homie did not just pull up on a moose. It's a reindeer. There was this mod installed called Spartan Weaponry and it added javelins to the game. I had a great idea that would bring the whole city together. I planned to build a huge jousting stadium. Yep, that's right. A jousting stadium. It was genius. While I began constructing the jousting stadium, I asked Sodi to give everyone jobs so that we could become more organized. And the city was developing quickly. Shops were popping up left and right and we also had a chief of security who had cameras placed all around the city. It, it was coming together. And finally, Finally, I had finished the jousting stadium, and so I announced to the server for so everyone to come and watch the world's very first reindeer jousting event. At least, uh, I think so. Anyways, guess who I had fight first? Sodi Poppin versus Dream! I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Not Dream, that would be cool, but Sodi's actually versing his little brother, Curly Fried 99 which he, he had a Dream skin on, but this should be interesting. Do you know how to joust? No, I don't. Bro, someone's my old skin. That's so trippy. All right, so to joust, what you do is you 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 ride really fast by one side of the fence while he's on the other side of the fence, and then you have to try and hit him right when you're next to each other. All right. All right, are you guys ready? So, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm, I'm on the reindeer. Three, two, one, go, go, go! Ah! Release the gate! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Him. Well, Sodi definitely won that battle, so I decided to go test my own strength and wit and go up against Sodi myself. Two, one, release the gate! Ah! Ah! No! Let's go! That's why I'm your man, baby. Let's go home. Let's go! I was unstoppable! Now that I have most of the server here and proved to them I was strong enough to be their leader, it was the perfect time to announce that the peace ban would soon be over and the great war was coming. So Dean, Hacky, and I split off into different groups and began forming our own armies. I came up with a plan for a base and used my diamond drill I made to get resources from a nearby abandoned city. All right, boys, the plan is to build three separate hangars, each different sizes, a small, medium, and a large, just like a McDonald's. We also need to build a tank bunker and a main base of operations slash barracks. And let's get to work. Hoo -ha! I built the first hangar and then realized we were going to need to remove basically this whole hill. And so I called in backup and it took a while, but we got it done. And then as I walked inside my house, uh, I noticed something a bit suspicious. What's this? What's in, what's going on in my basement here? <gasps> this is what I think it is? <gasps> in my basement, bro? Yo, what is this? Yo, I could not believe what I just saw. How long had this been going on for? No, he's trying to kill me. They started shooting me, and I, I guess they thought I'd see too much and wanted to take me out or something. So I ran for my life, and, well, I barely escaped with it. Oh, that, that was way too random and a close call. Eventually, though, things did calm down. And one of our citizens named Forge Dark Soul, he asked me for some food. And, you know, he didn't look like the there seafood type. So, well, I gave him the only other edible thing in my inventory. We continued building up the base, and it was coming together nicely. And then Forge Dark Souls, he actually built a fighter jet. And so uh, I took it out for a test flight. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. actually like insanely fun i was nervous to try and land it but uh i did pretty good actually that that was awesome let's go baby let's go she works great bud we got back to work on the base and finished the majority of the roads and bunkers and then we all got suited up in our military gear single file line army crawl lip lip right lip 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 
Left, right, left, hold. The peace ban was going to be lifted soon, and we were about to face the biggest war of our lives. Yo. We all began grinding for resources using whatever modded items we could to our advantage. We were slowly becoming more powerful. The problem was, Sodi and Hacky, their teams seemed to be very competent. Oh, what the? This is pretty cool. Yeah. It's all labels. Holy guacamole. Yeah, it's all labels. This is crazy. Beautiful. I have explosive ammo. Keep in mind though, at this time I, I didn't actually know that. I wasn't aware of that because, well, I hadn't done any spy missions just yet. But anyways, after hitting some b-hops with this karambit and testing this minigun, which was insanely powerful by the way. Say hello to my little friend. Thing's crazy. I went on another mining run so I could craft my own fighter jet and go on a scouting mission for my own and, and actually go see the enemy's base for myself. But then all of a sudden I hear our base's alarm go off. Oh, was it a false alarm? Were we under attack? I have no idea. The peace band was supposed to be in place, but I guess it didn't matter because I get back to the base only to witness absolute chaos. Our base was in shambles. All of that work just gone in, in a matter of seconds. It turns out a couple of Sony's guys snuck away from his base and attacked us without his knowledge. But, yeah, it's fine. In fact, taking this hit early on is, is what fueled me to push even harder. We rebuilt and continued preparing for war. I wasn't going to let this attack get to my emotions and cloud my judgment. My team and I hopped into Discord and we began grinding. Like, like just look at all these shotguns. And yes, that's an RPG. I was finally able to craft my own jet, and so I fueled it up and prepared for a scouting mission. Tango Charlie 503 requesting permission to take off runway Alpha 1. Over. Tango Charlie 503, request granted for runway Alpha 1, clear for takeoff. Have a safe flight, Josh. Over. Copy that, thank you. All right, boys, let's go see if we can find uh, Sony's base. This jet was fast, and after scouting around for a couple minutes until I finally found something. All right, looks like I see something. Okay, it looks like they have a mountain base, and that is to attack choppers. Okay, this may be hard if their base is on the high ground like that. I flew back to base, and right after I landed, I immediately told everyone what I had seen. This was not going to be an easy battle. For the next couple of days, we began finding a good spot to place the beacon and securing it so that it would be hard to get to. I don't think I mentioned this, but once the peace ban is lifted and the war begins, each team's objective is to find and destroy each other's beacon, which has to be placed somewhere in the main part of each of our bases. I got this idea from Ryan, not Brian. He makes some sick videos as well. It was getting closer to being time for war, and I figured one last scouting mission could be valuable, but this time, I wanted to bring a couple soldiers with me. So we made a Chinook helicopter, and we made our way to the enemy's base, and uh, uh, just uh, see, see how it goes for yourself. We see us, boys. Oh, I'm back, Oh, boys, run. Yeah, that probably wasn't the most stealthy scouting mission, but luckily we escaped alive, and so we were treated back to the base. I mean, it wasn't a complete waste of time. We actually got a decent look at their base. All right, boys, how about? Hey, oh, I think that mission was wait, successful. Wait, wait. It's official. The peace ban was ending in just a couple more days, and while Sodi's team continued to strengthen their base and prepare as a team, my team, on the other hand, well, hey, just take a listen and uh, judge for yourself. I'm trapped in infinite maze. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to go hunt a bunch of fish. Oh, nice are... bricky. Put it in chamber and lock it away until it dies. No, the this is the holy spawn bird. I, I, Quick I, 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 away. No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they weren't exactly acting like they were about to, you know, go into the heat of battle. But one way or another, we were going into war together. And so the night before the war began, I did my best to give them a speech I hope would, you know, strengthen their spirits. This is the moment you've all been waiting for, all right? We've been training. We've been working hard for this. I want you to fight hard and remember what you're fighting for, all right? Land, money, and women. The next day, the alarms began to ring and the war began. While some guarded the beacon, some of us loaded up into the Chinook, and my plan was to have a bunch of the guys jump out over Sodi's base and parachute into the base, but uh, our helicopter was stuck on some barbed wire, and we couldn't even take off, and then before we knew it, we started getting bombed. The enemy was already here. I quickly jumped out the helicopter and hopped into a jet and took off, but I wasn't prepared. I didn't know the keybind to drop the bombs, and then, well, I accidentally fell out the jet, but luckily, I had a parachute. 
I made my way back to the base and I started shooting this attack helicopter and then we shot this guy on the roof and then as soon as I turned my back I got shot from behind I just did this 180 RPG shot and boom I killed him and it was actually pretty sick and then right after I reloaded my RPG I noticed this enemy Boy, running around one of the hangars and so I chased him all the way behind our main bunker and took him out Oh, Hacky shooting me. Hacky's on the hill behind wait, the base. Wait, wait. Behind the house. Like, on the hill. Shoot, yo, we're getting shot at. We're getting shot at. Marines, Marines, dead. I'm going in. Ah! Find it, find it. The only one guy. Get him, get him, get him, get him. We were so busy defending, we, we didn't have a chance to go on the attack, and it wasn't looking too good. We, we held them off though, and eventually there was a break in the chaos. And so we loaded up once again in a Chinook and flew straight towards the base. We were going on the offense. Top of the mountain, boys. That's what we're going for. It's a big mountain. Take the high ground. Just after one of my teammates hits an insane oh, shot from the helicopter, we jump, all jumped jump, out, jump. hoping to parachute to the base. But oh. the parachute sadly was way too slow to oh. control, and we ended up at the bottom of the mountain. Not a position you want to be in when it, when it comes to war. All right, who am I with? Buttermaster? Yeah. A couple of us began scaling the mountain, and then before we knew it, bullets were just raining from above. The snipers above us, they're already in on us, in on us. Oh no. I have a grenade launcher. <laughs> Shoot, teammate. <laughs> ah, I got shot. There were so many of them, and I was running out of ammo, but I kept going and I managed to break away and heal. I shot guys, them some food in the I face don't. and then started sniping the enemies at the top of the mountain. Anyone got bear ammo? I got it. Hey, I say we flank Sorry. while someone distracts. We were finally putting some pressure on them, and while some continued to fight, a couple of us went behind on the flank and secretly There's climbed up the mountain and infiltrated dead. their base. We were so close. Fuck you. Wait, no. Man, I ran out of ammo and couldn't escape in time. Things were, were not looking good. The enemy clearly seemed to have an advantage over us in, in pretty much every way. And before we knew it, the other team had taken out our beacon. We, we lost. I felt like I had failed everyone. But you know what they say. Sometimes you have to lose the battle in order to win the war. Thank you for watching, lot of exciting content is on its way, check out other videos and of course subscribe to my channel, it's Josh MV.